Hello and welcome back to another video. Thanks for joining me again. Uh, in this video I want to talk about whether you need an art degree to be an artist and a bit about my journey. So let's get to it. So am I an artist? So what does that mean and why is it important or not? I have no formal education in art and no degree so does that matter? Well let's talk about it. Now I just want to stop here and say that my way is just that and it shouldn't influence you in any way. Art school is something I've never been through and cannot comment on whether it is better or not. I know artists that have been and loved it and artists that haven't. I am only telling you my story because if you are interested in art then some of what I am telling you will be relevant. Okay, now that has been said, I will continue. I just know that some people don't like the term self-taught which is fair because I understand that I think that the point is, does a degree make you more qualified? I showed some interest in school in art and I loved architecture and had a placement at a university. But for the seven years training really put me off, um, which looking back was how younger me saw everything. But that's beside the point. I never pursued art seriously until about six years ago, so quite recently in terms of an art career. I've always been very intentional in what I learn and I will paint a few pictures and analyse them and then pick out what I would like to improve in them and search out videos, blogs and make notes and practice in the next few paintings to see if the tips have worked for me. On this subject I have a, a few go-to books that I like. I like the physical copy that I can pick up. Um, what I took was that just doing it and getting the brush mileage in would ultimately lead you to better work. No matter what discipline you choose, if you practice enough, you can come, become better at it. So, I would all, also try and work out what information works best for you. For me, it was a bit of everything, so reading and making notes is good. But my favourite thing was watching videos and anything visual. So you will know what learning works best for you. This is really important because whatever learning you decide to do has to fit in with how you learn best. And learning is tied to emotion. So if you aren't invested in the method, it isn't going to sink in. So in my journey, I started out using alcohol markers and illustrating portraits of people, which I don't even touch anymore. This was a subject I found to have no emotion with, and so I couldn't give it my best. That was also the time I remember watching James Gurney for the first time and thinking, wow, I love the look of gouache, and then downloaded <laughs> all of his paid tutorials and uh, got my first set of gouache and I loved it. So my next question is, how do you know what your weaknesses are as an artist if you've never been taught? This is where you need to knuckle down and start really looking at artists you admire and seeing what techniques they use and try and apply them to your work to see if it improves your work. Also ask yourself, what kind of artist are you? Are you a realist? Do you enjoy painting all the details like me? An abstract artist or somewhere in the middle? I found a strong sense of vision as an artist and what I wanted to become very quickly by experimenting with the details and you will too. That is something I don't think you get taught in art, in art school is to hone your vision as an artist. And this is so important. What message are you trying to portray? What emotion are you trying to put across? I was always intentional in my learning and made a plan on what wasn't working and what was and then went and practiced until I was at least happy. Another thing I did was I started with colour and how the simple colour wheel works and the relationships with colours. Then I went to my pictures and had a look at my colour choices and then looked up videos, blogs and podcasts and even read books on colour relationships. Um, and one thing will always lead to the next. Was I using too many colours? Do fewer colours? make for more harmonious painting. Through your own process of learning, which will last a lifetime by the way, you will discover what works for you. It wasn't through choice that I didn't go to art school, it was because I rediscovered art later in life, then realised that I would have to learn from what was available to me in my spare time. And for me that was books and videos etc. I look now back at my old art and I can see the rawness in them. Not having any idea what was right or wrong, just putting pen and brush to paper and going for it. I follow some rules now that I've picked up over time and I think make my art look better and I think that makes sense now when I sit down to paint. I have a ritual but I am always trying to add to this and I'm never rigid in my approach and that's what keeps me going. I follow and watch oil painters, watercolour artists which isn't my chosen medium but I will always pick up a tip or something, in, um, something really interesting that I can apply to my own work. I have often picked up the most valuable tips from the most unlikely places 
and it's good to keep an open mind with your art journey. When we know the answers to things, it makes us happy. But in art, you are usually always trying to improve on what you have and there are always more questions than answers, which can be frustrating, but I quite like it. And in the, in the words of Tony Robbins, get comfortable in the uncomfortable. So to answer my question, do you need a degree? Well, in my case, no. But in your case, go for it if you if you really feel like that's your if you, that's your path. I mean, there's so much information out there today that you can go down any path, and it's not the right or wrong one. Just remember that art is a journey, not a destination. If you have any questions, um, leave them in the comments below. I'd love to hear from you. Uh, what your art journey is, whether you went to uh, college or not, I'd love to hear. Okay, thank you so much for watching. If you like the video, you know what to do. I hope you all have a fantastic weekend and I'll catch you next time.